Flavor City family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby back in the kitchen, and I'm literally sitting on the biggest pile of healthy products, both sweet and savory, that are kind of flying under the radar. A lot of these ones you've never heard of, some of them you have, and this video is actually sponsored by Epic Provisions, who makes amazing foods. But I wanted to make this video because I put out a call to action the other day on the Flavor City Instagram, asking for products that are really best in class ingredients, but maybe aren't widely available. Ooh, boy, you guys hooked me up with some really cool ideas. I combined that with some other products I know, and we're gonna go through all those right now. But before we get to any of that, first things first, like, subscribe, share. All those things are really important, but I think the most important thing is hitting the bell icon right below this video. That way you enable all notifications, because my friends, every single week, we're talking about what? Two to three videos and three live streams where we make a recipe from start to finish, you do not want to miss out. Let's start out with the sponsor of this video, Epic Provisions. They make amazing snacks and uh, protein bars and pork rinds, but check this out. They now have steak strips, venison strips, and salmon strips using amazing ingredients, and this is one of my favorites. It's a Wagyu beef strip, and here's what's mind-blowing to me. It's 100% grass-fed. Wagyu is the breed, highly known for its marbleization and fat content, but it's normally grain-fed. This is grass-fed, and look at these ingredients. That's what you wanna see, my friends. That's what we call all thriller, no filler, but it also comes in venison, and it comes in wild, 100% wild-caught salmon. Absolutely fantastic. Now, if you're on Team Crunch, look over here. You probably have heard of the Epic Provisions chicharrones or the pork rinds. Well, you can get oven baked, and this is one of my favorite ones cause it's with Himalayan pink salt. Look at these ingredients here. Himalayan pink salt is one of the best unrefined salts in the world, combined with really high quality pork skins, fantastic. Or they make ones that are deep fried in pork fat too. And then we all know about the classic epic protein bars, 100% grass fed, responsibly sourced and farm. And one of the most popular ones here, the Epic Protein Bar Chicken Sriracha Bar with non-GMO chickens. I mean, this is some of the best stuff on the market. You look around normally at steak strips and beef bars, they're using GMO meat, they're using sugar, cruddy oils. These guys have none of that. They're fantastic and they have really clean ingredients and there is a great price right now on Amazon. I'm gonna put the link down below in the first line of the description box. Check out some of these because they are a great, great product and thank you guys for sponsoring the video. Okay, now let's venture into a little bit of sweet land. A, flan, a fan on Instagram, Flav City, told me about blender bombs. These are supplements to put into your smoothies, and you guys know I love my smoothies. So it looks like a little bomb here. Look at these ingredients. Almonds, organic dates, flax seeds, hello, omega-3s. Hemp seeds, hello, fiber and protein. Organic honey, aloe vera, pollen from bees and vanilla. You just drop these guys right into your smoothie and it's a nutrient bomb. What's really cool, they also make something called bomb butter. And I've never seen anything like this in my life. Look at this. Ground flax seeds, we're talking omega-3 and fiber city. Coconut cream and aloe vera, what the what? Very, very cool supplements to put in your smoothie with best in class ingredients. Really cool to see that. Now, sticking with kind of savory and sweet, we all love Nutella. But I was at Costco a couple weeks ago and I looked at, they had this like um, huge tub. It was the uh, food service size. It had 21 grams of sugar per serving, artificial flavorings and palm oil. My friends, this is one of the best substitutes to Nutella on the market. It's pure organic hazelnut spread. Now the ingredients are not perfect, but they're way better than Nutella. So the vegetable oil blend is organic sunflower oil. I'm still waiting to hear back if that's expeller pressed and coconut oil. Not terrible and way better than palm oil. But look at this. Everything's organic. Instead of using sugar, they're using non-GMO organic erythritol. Organic hazelnuts. And the only other ingredient I'm not very keen on is natural flavors, but it's very hard to find that in a Nutella-like thing. Two grams of sugar, total carbs, 21 minus fiber of 11 and sugar alcohols of eight. So it's very low carb and the flavor 
Art had it. What do you think, Art? It was pretty good. Desi's been crushing this. She almost ate that jar before we're done. It has a little cooling effect from the erythritol, but this is such a clean version of Nutella that I'd rather have instead of the real thing. Now, if you want a cleaner version of that, this is from a company called Peely Hunters. You may have heard about this company because we talked about them a long time ago. It doesn't taste quite as like the real thing or even better than the real thing as Art and you two would say, but these ingredients are about as clean as they get. A little sweetener of monk fruit and erythritol very, very clean. Now, it comes from Peely Nuts. If you don't know about these, they're wild sprouted Peely, uh, Peely Nuts from Philippines. They grow in volcanic ash. And because they're sprouted, there's more nutrition and they're cooked in extra virgin olive oil. It's an amazing, amazing product. And actually, Peely Nuts are the, the highest fat, lowest carb nut in the world. It literally is like eating a butter nut. It melts in your mouth. It's totally crazy. I would get either one of these. Both are great. Now, nut butters. I love argan oil. I'm relatively new to it, but I bought a bottle of argan oil. You can get two kinds of argan oil. You can get the uh, cosmetic one you put in your hair or the culinary one. It's kind of like a Moroccan Middle Eastern oil that has a nice nutty flavor. This is Argania. The only place I've ever seen it is at Sprouts Farmer's Market. This is almond butter that has argon oil in it. And it has that nice kind of floral flavor. And what kind of salt are they using? The best salt in the universe, Fleur de Sel. That's a French sea salt that is completely raw, unrefined. Now this is the one that Desi and I eat at night when we're streaming a little bit of Netflix, the cinnamon maple. Now, how do they get that in there? With just a twang, as Art and I would say, of maple sugar that's crystallized maple syrup Cinnamon, but how much sugar? Yes, we're talking about a scant. Two grams of added sugar for two tablespoons. That ain't nothing. This is fantastic, and it actually tastes like a graham cracker, a speculose. I love this stuff. I've been putting this on the keto-based culture bread and crushing that at night. Now, the same company makes keto hummus. I've seen cauliflower everything. We're gonna talk about a new kind of cauliflower. I've never seen this yet. This is cauliflower hummus. Check this out. So it's keto approved because it only has 2.7 grams of total carbs, a little bit of fibers. So we're talking about literally two grams of net carbs per serving. Now, the only ingredient I don't love is sunflower oil. And the owner told me it is expeller pressed, but they're moving towards 100% olive oil. Besides that, look at that. Tahini paste, green olives. They have roasted red pepper flavor too, and cauliflower. And cauliflower doesn't have to be organic. I tried this this week for lunch. Oh my God, it was delicioso. And it had that hummusy feel because of the tahini. That is really, really cool. I thought I'd seen uh, cauliflower everything and then boom, a new one comes on the market. Isn't this fun, right? A couple of these you might've seen before, but come on, there's no way you've seen a few of those before. Now I got a lot of requests about Chalk Zero. This is a keto chocolate syrup. Now, sugar-free, gonna be keto and diabetic friendly. I get nervous about these because pretty much all of these always have some kind of natural flavor. So it's gonna be made with liquid vegetable fiber. I'm fine with that. Dark chocolate is great because it's unsweetened. These guys here have chocolate flavor. That's another word for natural flavors. The sweetener is good. Now this is not ideal, but still this is way better than like Hershey's chocolate syrup, which has gobs of cane sugar. But what's even better is this. I scooped this at Whole Foods. It's new naturals and their chocolate syrup has the same ingredients as Chalk Zero, but do you see natural flavors? Nope, nowhere. What are they using? Stevia and fair trade cacao. This is what you wanna see. This is fantastic. Now, any one of these brands, they also make maple syrup. I have yet to see a keto maple syrup that doesn't have natural flavors. It doesn't exist. I just got this because it came in the two pack from uh, Amazon. It's strawberry syrup, but this one, let's see. This one's gonna be all strawberry natural flavor. So this is even more artificial because there's no natural ingredients to it, or at least this has cocoa powder to it. So good news on the chocolate horizon because you can combine this with like that uh, sugar-free, dairy-free, uh, so delicious ice cream and make a sundae that's virtually keto, which is very, very cool. What else I got here? So go into more cauliflower. Now we've seen cauliflower crust at the grocery store. I think of uh, cauliflower, but here's a new player that a fan told me about. These are 
kibosh, keto cauliflower crust. And what I like about it, they don't just stop at cauliflower and mozzarella cheese. Just to add some more binding effect, they're also adding almond flour. They're also adding golden flaxseed there, which is really nice, and coconut flour. That's gonna give it some more heft. But here's where it gets wow, wow, wee wow style. Chocolate zucchini keto crust. You could basically make a dessert flatbread. And listen, I can't eat this because it has the mozzarella cheese and that's a little too much dairy for me, but everything is really, really clean. The guy who owns the company told me actually this crisped up even better than the cauliflower, the zucchini. And once again, super duper clean ingredients. Now, speaking of the keto theme, these are keto hearts of palm pasta. I've tried other ones in the past, but I've noticed they have this weird acidic flavor. That's because they're packed with citric acid. These are vacuum sealed with no other ingredients. It's a really cool company. And I see the ingredients in here and it's one. Hearts of palm. And it's a blank canvas. It really takes the flavor of anything you add here. I dropped it in soups also. The nice thing about this, look at the fiber. It's two grams of dietary fiber per serving, and there's 2.5 servings per container. These kind of foods are what's called prebiotics because the fiber actually feeds the gut bacteria. And you guys know how gaga I am about fostering the gut bacteria in your body. So this is one of the best hearts of palm pastas. They have a uh, lasagna too. What else is here? I love my boys over at Primal Kitchen. And these are new. Check these out. These are collagen keto lattes. This one's made with organic matcha tea powder. This one is with black tea. I wish it was organic. Black tea and chai tea spices. So look at this. It's got the cardamom and the ginger, nutmeg. Really, really good with grass-fed collagen, which is so good for your joints and for your skin. And this one here, the matcha, is made with organic matcha, coconut milk powder to cream it out, monk fruit as the sweetener, I usually have this after lunch, along with one of the cleanest keto chocolate treats on the market. This is a healthy version of a Reese's peanut butter cup with literally best in class ingredients. This right here to me is my favorite. It's hazelnut butter, keto cup. How do they do this? I consider it like magic. Look at this. It's organic hazelnuts, cacao with no sugar added, a little bit of monk fruit, MCT oil, Himalayan pink salt, best in class ingredients, only two carbs per piece. And there's two pieces in here. And you guys, these are tasty. Art, you've had these before, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. They're not overly sweet at all. And the hazelnut butter is so much like Nutella. And I have that with a cup of tea. It's the best post lunch snack I've ever had. I love that stuff. Um, so, guys, there's a ton of really cool, sweet, savory, snacks and foods that maybe you probably haven't heard of over half of this, right? But they're really good in products with best in class ingredients and certainly Bobby approved. I love this kind of stuff because I think of the grocery store when I grew up, right? In the 80s and 90s and even the early 2000s, none of this stuff was around. All of this stuff has happened the last decade and thank God because it's great to have products like this that are made with good ingredients to put in your body, not the cruddy stuff we'd always teach you guys to stay away from. So that is it. Um, like, subscribe, share. That is the only way this channel keeps growing. We got two more videos going below us right now. But my boy Art and I will see you soon. Until then, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace.